Hey everybody, I just wanted to start out by saying that this guy was very easy to bait. As you'll see in the video, he didn't ask me any details about the pop-up, what it said, if there was a code on it. Uh, he didn't ask me that many questions. It's It was amazing how much time I put in setting this up, making sure I had at least the, the message in front of me. Um, so that I could answer some of his questions and he didn't care. He just went right into it and got right on my VM. Uh, once he was on the VM, as you'll see, he did barely, if any, checking to see if it was a VM. Um, he just went straight into the spiel and uh, I was pretty surprised. I had set this VM up t to suit my story, as you'll see from the items on the desktop, if you can see them, and it didn't seem to have any effect because he wasn't checking anyway. I think I wasted my time. Anyway, hope you enjoy the video. Thank you for calling the support hotline. Press 1 to speak with the next available agent. Thank you for calling the line for the support. My name is Sam. How can I help you? Well, hi there, Sam. Um, I got uh, a pop-up on my screen here that has your phone number on it. It says something about a, a Windows warning alert. Okay, so can you tell me what you were trying to do on your computer when you got this message, sir? Well, all I was doing this morning was uh, going to YouTube. Okay. Are you the only user on this computer, sir? Uh, yeah. Well, my partner uses it sometimes, okay. but it's mainly mine. Uh, no problem, sir. Okay, no problem, sir. So, uh, can you tell me, sir, you are using a laptop or a regular desktop? It's a laptop. I, I do a lot of stuff on it. I just had it cleaned off a little while ago. Okay. Don't worry, sir. As your computer is designed in a such a way, when something is going wrong inside your computer, you will get the errors and warning message. But don't worry. Okay. All right. So, what I can do for you is, I will go ahead and get connected to the Microsoft Secure Line and Secure Server. We'll go ahead and check the problem that you're facing right now. Let's try to get fix the problem as soon as possible, up to your satisfaction, okay, sir? Okay, yeah, that'd be good, because I plan on doing some music work on the computer. All right, thank you so much. So, sir, can you tell me, sir, uh, how old is your laptop? Uh, this one is fairly old. Um, it was actually given to me by okay. a friend. It, it might be, like, four years old. Uh, no problem, sir. So please look on your keyboard at the very bottom left-hand side corner. There will be a CTRL control key. Can you see that? Oh, uh, yeah, I see that. Next to a FN key. And now, next to the FN key, next, and next to the CTRL, there will be a FN key, right? Yes. And next to the FN key, there will be a window key. Looks like a flag and having four small square box on it, right, sir? Yeah. Yeah, I can see it. I want... All right. Press it and hold it down, just a window key. Press it, hold it down, just a window key. Uh-huh. I got that. And do not release your finger. I will let you know to release your finger, okay? Okay. Now with another finger, press it and hold it down, letter R, like Romeo. Okay. It's like teaching someone how to play a guitar. All right, now. Okay, little box now, popped up here. Now what do you see on your... Uh-huh, go ahead. A little box popped up here, says run. Type the name of a program, folder, okay. document, or internet resource, and Windows will open it for you. All right, now you can let it go your both finger at the same time. Uh-huh. Now, inside an open box, do you see any letters or is that empty? Uh, it's empty right now. Just, there's a little arrow right, down so, at the end of it. Okay, so make it empty box. Uh-huh. Make it empty and type your letter I. Type your letter I. Okay, hold on a second. I'm a little hungover from last night. I did a, I played a gig. <laughs> so, uh. No problem, sir. No okay, problem. I got make an I in there. I got an I. All right. And after I type letter E, like Edward. E, okay. To read me back whatever you are typing here just to make sure, sir. Okay, we got I explore. 
just like explore, not not with another R like explorer, just I explore space. Uh, I, I read that as I tech care, I T E C H C A R E dot U S slash help slash. You got it. Underneath that, below that, there is an OK. So hit OK. Hit OK. All right. Yeah, this is not my my area of expertise. I'm a guitar player. I play in a band, so I'm not overly familiar with computers. Oh. But I'm trying to learn. I'm trying to learn. Okay, I get a. You're good, sir. You're good, sir. I get a um a window that says Microsoft Gold Partner. Connect your computer with Microsoft Secure Server. And then it asks uh, for a name. Type your first. Type your first name. I will provide you the support key. All right, I got my name in there. Bucky. Are you ready for the support key, sir? Why, yes, I am. All right. Now your support key will be one four four. One four four. One five one. One five one. Three nine three. Three nine three. Okay. Let me back just to make sure, sir. Uh, certainly. That's one four four. One five one. Three nine three. Okay, on the right hand side there will be a continue, so hit continue. Hit continue, okay. Alright, uh, another thing came up, said click run to start go to assist opener. And then there's a yellow All kind right. of Belada flashing. The letter there is a run, save, cancel, so click on run, hit run. Okay, uh, run, and then it says uh, something about something downloaded, running security scan. And after that, you will get yes option. So as soon as you get yes, click on yes. Okay, the box popped up, says go to opener, and uh, says connecting to go to assist. Any instruments? Are, are you a musician by any chance? Uh, I you know I really interest interesting with that sir, but uh, unfortunately I cannot I cannot play. But I you know I'm I'm I used to you know I love to listen to music sir. Yeah, it's it's pretty fun. I I play uh, folk music myself. Okay, I got oh, a. Oh, that is awesome, sir. I appreciate that. I got a box here that says user account control. Is this the one you want me to press yes? Yes, sir. Click yes. Okay, installing go to assist customer. Uh, went back to that box okay. again. Connecting to go to assist. All right. Yeah, I was out playing last night at the fair. Okay. It's fun. Click on yes now. Yes. All right. Okay, so sir, my name is Sam, one of the online Microsoft certified technician. This call might be recorded line for quality and training purpose. Okay. Now, we have been get connected to the Microsoft Secure Line and Secure Server. Can uh, you see that? Oh, yeah, the mouse is moving. The little pointer is moving. Yes. We have been get connected to the Microsoft Secure Server, okay? Uh-huh. Now let me go ahead and check what is going on inside your computer and I'll let you know, sir. Okay, sir? Yeah. All right. So uh, right now, let me go ahead and check what operating system you're using. You're using a Windows, Windows 7, 7, home premium Windows 7, right? Yeah. All right. So 2009 Microsoft Corporation, all right reserved. So that means I am the right person to get fix this problem. The reason why? Because your computer is manufactured by Microsoft. Uh huh. Like. Yeah. Yeah. That's the. All that's right. the. Now let me go ahead and thing. check. Let me go ahead and check what is going on inside your computer. 
it's written down here your Windows is activated, right? Along with the but yeah, ID, right? yeah. One of my bandmates, Joe, um, put this together for me. Um, but he, uh, I, I don't remember how long. Like I say, it was cleaned off a little while ago, and and uh, my buddy's gonna teach me how to do my music recording and everything on, on the computer. Oh, all right. Now here, your certificate has expired. Can you see that? Yeah. What well, What does that mean? Okay, that means somebody is manipulating your computer. The reason why, because Windows is activated at the bottom. You see that? Uh-huh. And here, your Windows is expired. That means somebody is manipulating your computer. There is a stranger inside your computer. Let me go ahead and check, okay? All right. Well, that's not good. Yes, sir. That is not good. So let me go ahead and check what is going on inside your computer, and I'll let you know, sir. So... Is this the first time that you're facing a problem, sir? Uh, yeah, it's the first time I've ever seen this message. I, I, the computer, it's hard for me to tell how the computer works. I, I use it, I don't use it that much for very much stuff except the internet. Oh, okay, and, all right, no problem. Let me go ahead and check, all right? So far, how many errors and warning messages you have received? Let me go ahead and check and I'll let you know, sir. Okay? Yeah, I've only seen that message once. <laughs> Alright, so right now, this is the errors and warning message page. So I'm checking so far how many errors and warning messages you have received on this computer. And can you tell me how many computer you have? Oh, this is my only computer now. I, I do have one of those little tablet things. Um, I'm on the road a lot playing with oh, the band, God. so it's easier to carry the little tablet in my phone than to use the computer. I do okay. most of the stuff on my phone no and my computer. I mean, my tablet. Okay. On the desktop, I think I have a picture of my band there. The Mahogany Butter Wagon. Uh, let me go ahead and check, first of all, what is going on inside your computer, and I'll let you know, sir. Okay. okay. I used to be in a band named the... I was in a band named the okay. Roving Menstrels, but we were only to play right. able to play like a couple days a month, so that the flow wasn't really there. Okay. So I I moved right. to this other band. I, I appreciate that, sir. I do love you know I do love the folk music. Yeah, it's it's fun. We get fun crowds. I do love that. I do you know I love to listen to music. Okay, so I love music. A long time. We are checking here, driver, we're just running inside your computer. Okay. Alright. So I'm checking here, the driver, we're just running inside your computer, and I'll let you know. Okay, sir? On the top left-hand side corner, on the top left-hand side corner, what do you see there, sir? Um, left-hand side? Yes, sir. Just the system information window. I, I see a state that right. says stopped. Here, sir, this is your driver, your system driver. System information, below that there is a system summary. Now here I'm checking your system driver. Now I can see here most of the driver got expired. You have to reactivate one more time. Oh, okay. Yeah. And if, so if all those should be. If you activate this driver, your computer will get crashed at any point of time, sir. Okay. Okay. All right. So I have to check it and have information, and I'll let you know. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Last night was a now, wild the day night. when you bought a new computer, the day when you bought a new computer, it was only running, running, running. Now here I can see stop. Okay. Running, stop running, stop running. So let me go ahead and check. How many of them has been stopped working on your computer, okay? Okay. Let me scroll down right now, and let me go ahead and check. Uh, now, starting from here, I can see stop, stop, stop. Can you see that? Yeah. A bunch of stop. All right. Yeah, they're not Without working. Without this application, you and I, we cannot use our computer. With the help of this application, we are using our computer. Now, not only that, your network... Protection is in Microsoft Corporation has been stopped working. Can you see that? Yeah, that those are all supposed to be going. 
Yes, it should be only running, 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 but now it has stop, 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 right? Your driver and the application has been stopped working. That means at any point of time, your computer will get crashed. Whatever you have on this computer, it will be disappeared. You cannot get back anything that you have on this computer, okay? No, like the documents, the present information, banking information, or whatever you have inside your computer, it will get corrupted. You cannot get anything from your computer. Not good. Should be should be working. All right. Sounds like some bandmates I've had yeah. in the past. Don't feel like working. Here, we have to go ahead and check, okay? Yeah. Musicians aren't the most right. reliable people. What's going on now? You said your name, Clan, C-L-E-N. That's my real name. Yeah, I go by Bucky. But Glenn is All my right. is my my real name yeah I was in a band called Dingle and the Skid Marks and and uh, we we used to work a lot of a lot of crappy places and it it that just wasn't working out so that's when I went to the roving minstrels it's fun uh, I, I've been playing so since I've been a kid now now can you tell me what do you see here can you read out this for me uh, your network and computer has been compromised by Clampy, recognized as an internal or external command operable program or batch file. All right. Your computer network has been compromised by Clampy. Do you know what is a Clampy, sir? No. Okay. Let me go ahead and check what is a Clampy, sir, okay? Uh-huh. You know those little All things right. that go on that the neck of a guitar? Those are called a clampy. But I don't think that's what that oh, is. Okay. Let me Let me go ahead and check here what is a clampy. Sound good. Okay, so somebody is trying to hack your computer and they are trying to make your computer get crashed. Inside your computer, do you know? No. The current connection on your computer right now, 36 unknown people hackers on your computer. You 36 different, like, Without people two. on the computer? There should yes. just be two people, I me and you. Are connecting with the same network. Your tablet and computer connecting with the same network. You said correct. Yeah, my phone, too. All right, so you are connecting with the same network, your smartphone, your iPad, and your computer. So everything will be hacked because you are getting connected with the same network, right? Yeah, my bass player uh, set up the, the network here with one of those routers. And, uh, uh, yeah, Wenja, right. he's pretty good at setting this stuff up. Your, so. your smartphone... Your smartphone, your iPad, your computer, connecting with the same network, only one network, correct? Yeah. This network, it will get in fact, and it will get corrupted, and you will face the same problem. Well, that's not good. I definitely have yeah. copyrighted stuff yeah. on my tablet. I've got my songs all the way, I mean, I've got songs on there going all the way yeah. back to when I was in the Rough Rangers. be online to I don't have to be online for this this stuff to be fixed you have to stay with me for a moment after that you can yes okay because with me right now okay I gotta practice we're doing a throwback to when I was in the TikTok club and we need to do some practice before the gig how many computers you have I have the one computer And like I say, I'm not too good at this. No problem, sir. Take your time. You're good in typing, sir. Oops. I see, I messed it up already there. No problem, sir. No problem, sir. Everything is good. Oot nanny tonight. We're going to another county fair.
And now with the rest of your life, you don't need to worry about it. No one can hack your computer. No one can do anything on your computer. You don't need to worry about it the rest of your life now, okay? Once if I can fix all this problem. Your tablet, your smartphone, and suppose like if you get a new computer, everything will be covered up by this advanced network cover security. Now okay. type your email address, please. I was going to give the band one, but I'll give my personal one here. Yeah, tonight we're doing a tribute to the TikTok Club. Uh, it was a kind of an experimental thing that me and my buddies did. We, uh, sorry. One I, moment, I, lift your mouse. One moment, lift your mouse. Sorry, did I mess one that up? Lift your mouse. Okay. Yeah, we tried to make music just with clocks. But, uh, you know, it, it got kind right, of stale. Now, we tried to it, introduce a I metronome. Billing now. Oh, billing address, okay. A number along with your expiration date and your CBB number. All right, right? Let, me, let me get the card here. I got to go right. in the other room, get my All wallet right. out of my pants. If my no where did, problem, sir. Take your time. I don't know where I left my pants. The okay. um, <laughs> it's kind of funny. I was in, in high school. I was in a band named Statutory with my girlfriend. Oh, here's my pants. Yeah, I mean, she was she was a singer. I played guitar. It was Statutory, and her daddy found out about the band, and it kind of called an end to that. Here's my all right. Okay. Visa, I was going to use the... I'll use the Visa Platinum. So. Because this is a Microsoft professional support. All right, so I would like you to choose one option. Which one would you like to go for? Permanent or a lifetime or a five years? Well, if I you if I choose one option, okay? if I go for permanent, what what happens if the computer just breaks? There will be a, if you go for permanent, that means like we can replace a new computer, right? Okay, so if I if I have to buy a new computer, you don't need to spend even a single penny. Okay. Yeah. Well then, I mean, if it's going to cover it for permanent, then yeah, that would be good. I mean, I'm, I'm always going to have a computer, especially since I'm going to learn to use it for music and stuff. I plan on getting a better computer. Okay. My, my buddy Joe that sets all this stuff up, he said that I need a better computer okay. to do music recording and stuff. All right. Okay. <laughs> That will be the best for you, right, sir? Yeah, well, yeah. I'm going to be doing a lot of experimental music right. in the future, and I, I definitely need, I, I don't want it stolen. All right. Say yes, sir. That's why I'm, now we are, we will get protect each and every information. I will just open here. I will keep, I will provide you a custom item toll free number for permanent. So here. I was in a band in college called the Teabaggers, and, you know, we did a lot of, you know, that's during your experimental phase in life, you know, you're willing to, to try anything out, and and uh, we ended up okay. with some of our stuff yeah. stolen. All right. Is that a primary email address, sir? Well, it's one that I, I use. I usually do most of my business through the band, the Mahogany Butter Wagon email. Um, but but that, oh, that's sorry. that's kind of my personal. Each one of us band members, we have our own personal email, but we try and do things through the Mahogany Butter Wagon site. Simply tell this number. Okay. I'll to provide you your customer ID as well, okay? Talk to about my problem on the computer, okay. Yes, and just allow me one quick moment. Uh, if you want to talk, I, in in elementary school, me and my buddy had a, a band, we called it I Won't Tell If You Don't Tell. And, uh, you know, uh, we, we, we just started uh, playing, so we weren't that good at it, but...
I'm having trouble focusing uh, no here. No problem. Go slow, sir. No problem, sir. You can go slow. No problem for that. I think I might be in real trouble when they actually legalize marijuana in this state. I smoke uh, too much of it even uh, no though it's problem, illegal. Sir. Okay, <laughs> no I got the phone it, number. Sir, don't worry for that. Are you done with that, sir? Yeah, I got the the I, the customer ID and the phone number. Okay, now that is for your permit, and after that I will provide you the security code. So uh, just allow me one quick moment. First of all, let me quickly get registered and uh, let me get your security code. So okay. Allow me one quick moment, sir. Okay. Yeah, it's either the pot or the meth that screwed me up right. last night okay so just in case like if i made a mistake i need your help i will fill out this form and if i made a mistake please make me correct sir okay okay all right yeah, so joe actually got all, some I peyote too only, i will charge only first of all we charge this Open here the email address once you're using a Gmail, right? Yes. Voice on your email address, Gmail. Okay, sir? Okay. All right. Uh, sign. I will go ahead and do that for you. Allow me one quick moment. This is an email. And can you type in your password? Your Gmail password. Oh, in the, okay. Sorry. All right. I think that peyote is still uh, having an effect on me. Mm, okay. Is that or the roofies? Um, yeah. I don't. I don't know what's happening. We're, <laughs> we're using the but but but. One moment, sir. I will just do that for you. All right. Just allow me one quick moment. Type in your password and check your password. Enter the new, uh, enter the, type in one more time. All right. And after that, click on next. Hello. Yes, sir. And you can click, yes, sir. I'm okay. Here. Can you hear me? Yeah, well, I went real okay, quiet. I thought you hung up. Please. Get that out of there. I'm sorry, sir. What was that? Yes. Uh, oh. Where you can check for the verification. Okay. And enter the code. Please check this email address and you will get the code on this email address. Can you check that email address? No, not really. You know what? I'm having a hard time trying to keep up this fake accent. It hasn't been working. Uh, I'm not. All right. No problem, sir. For that case. Okay. No problem. So. Just allow me one quick moment, okay? The, uh. You really do know there's nothing wrong with my computer, right? I'm sorry? Said so you really do there's no there's nothing wrong with my computer, right? No, sir. There is a one moment, sir, I'll do this for you, okay? Here I got it. I want to show you a picture of my band. That's me you? that's me right there, and uh, that's Joe and that's Wenja. Oh, it's lovely, sir. <laughs> you have a you have a good picture, sir. So uh why are you trying to scam me out of two thousand dollars? I'm sorry. So why are you trying to scam me out of two thousand dollars? Oh, sir, here we're trying to get fix the problem, and you're getting your uh, life insurance security. There's not. There's nothing wrong with this computer. There is a problem on your computer, sir, all right? That's why today you're facing a problem. No, no, actually, I've been lying to you. I'm not uh, I'm not in a band. I'm a software engineer. I've been doing this for 30 years, and I know there's nothing wrong with this computer. 
So why are you trying to scam me out of two thousand dollars? No, sir. I'm not trying to scam you, sir. I'm trying to give you the security for a permanent. Okay. So what's the name of your company? You are talking with one of the online Microsoft certified technicians, sir. So you work for Microsoft. Yes, sir. And you have been get connected. You see there. You have been get connected to the Microsoft Secure Line and Secure Server. You know it's. Right? You have been get connected. Most people these days, most scammers aren't even claiming that they work for Microsoft. They actually say that Microsoft doesn't provide direct support. They say they work for another company. Okay. But you're actually claiming that you work for Microsoft. Uh, you are talking with one of the online Microsoft certified techs, yes, sir. So where are you located? We are in the Bronx, New York, sir. Really? Microsoft has technicians in New York? Why wouldn't you be in uh, yes, Washington State? Uh, we're in the Bronx, New York, sir. Why are you in the Bronx? Bronx, New York. Microsoft doesn't have any tech support in the Bronx, in New York. No, sir. We have, we do have, sir. One, we do have in the Bronx, New York, sir. You can type in, you can search here, sir. Okay, I know everything you did. The tree command, I saw you run the tree command, which simply displays a tree listing of folders and files in the computer. I know you typed in that information uh -huh. at the end saying that there was a that there was a virus. I know you showed me the event viewer and tried to tell me those events. The error events right, indicated no there was a virus. Sir, no problem, sir. If you don't want to do this, the choice is yours, sir. Right? No, but yours. I'm not forcing I'm gonna to I'm gonna right? I'm gonna reaffirm that you're a scam and I'm gonna make sure your number goes on all the websites so you'll probably be getting more calls from scam baiters. Because I know absolutely that oh, you're yeah. a scam. There's nothing wrong with this computer. Um, does that matter, sir? All right, it's according to your computer problem, you know, it's uh, you are facing a problem. So that the choice is yours, sir. Okay. Okay. So thank you so much for calling us, sir. And you have a great day. Okay, okay. scammer.